also let people know their power were given by the God in the heaven. So
Because wool has brought so many pains to human beings, and he asked the king to be kind, to be benevolent to the people. So that's his idea. And now we will come inside. You can see the sculptures and the buildings to your right and your left. To your right, you can see typically Chinese building, and to your left, you can see a huge sculpture to show Confucius with his disciples to travel to different countries. So we have to talk about the whole life of Confucius. When he was born, at that time was the spring and autumn period in China. Many wars in the history in the. Special 
collection. You can see that inside there are four geese, and inside the people can uh, stand on the road. So once the enemy got inside, they will collect there on the four sides. So they will shoot arrows down from the top. Which means once you got inside, you can never, the enemy got inside, they can never escape from here. A very good place is to protect the people inside. So from here, we will go inside to visit the temple of Confucius. You know, at the beginning, it was only the place where Confucius lived. Later, after his death, he was tended to a temple. And a lot of emperors will come here to worship him. And everyone come here, they will do some construction to the building here. So after several years and several dynasties, now it began to extend it to a very large one. So as the famous star here, thank you. And so first thing in front of you, you can see a stone pavilion. On top, there are four Chinese characters. Uh, read Chinese. <laughs> Next time, try to read some Chinese. This one was first established in 1468 in the Ming Dynasty. And here, it is famous for two reasons. One is the handwriting is really very good. And in history, many people come here to copy the handwriting. There's a lot of, yeah, hand, hand copy script in China very popular. They all try to write and follow the writing. Inside, you can see a picture, story, to show the whole life of Confucius. And you know, here in this uh, city, we also have a Confucius show to show uh, his uh, whole life every night. I'm not sure whether they have tonight, if you like. Uh, if they have, maybe tonight we can arrange it that for you. But now we can go inside to see the picture there, to know the whole life of Confucius. Follow me.